everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Faith. Thank you so much for being here. Today I am going to be showing you what I picked up during the Sephora VIB sale. I did a little mini haul and I figured that you guys might want to see what I picked up. I didn't go too crazy, but I got a handful of things that I wanted to share with you guys. I told myself I wasn't allowed to open these until I did this little haul. So I'm super excited to be filming this so that I can get on and actually start using these products. If as you watch you like what you see, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. All you have to do is hit the red subscribe button. It's totally free. And then if you'd like as well, hit that notification bell. That way you will be notified when I upload a video. But yeah guys, let's get right on into this haul. Okay, so like I said, I didn't go too crazy. This is probably going to be a pretty short video for me. I feel like sometimes my videos, especially my makeup tutorials, can go on and on and on. Like, I'm pretty sure my last makeup tutorial was almost 20 minutes. So I wanted to mix in a shorter video for you guys. Let me know in the comments, do you like shorter videos, longer videos, a mix of both? I don't know. But let's get into this. So the first thing I picked up is a tweezer man raise razor a tweezer man um what are these called tweezer this is actually the mini size because tweezer man tweezers are so expensive so i got the mini one and i'm just hopeful that this works better than the tweezers i've tried i have an anastasia beverly hills tweezer that's not too bad but it's kind of gotten dull and then i have just a generic brand i think it's like a revlon one that doesn't work at all so i've just been having a really hard time getting like the tiny little hairs that just kind of drive me nuts and I, I can't get them so I'm hoping that this will work and again this is a mini version I think it's just like a shorter tweezer it's not like it's really a different tweezer it's just like a smaller version so it was a lot cheaper I don't know I will let you guys know if this works okay sticking with the brow theme I am so excited for this this is a new product from benefit this is their brow contour pro four in one contour pencil and it has like click pen sort of things that totally reminds me of being in school like in the late 90s early 2000s with those different colored click pens where you'd click down a certain color and that's the color ink that would come out I thought that that was such a cute idea it looks like this and then you just click down the shade you want this is so cool so I got the brown black one so what it does is it comes with a dark brown shade and a light brown shade so if you want to stick to like a light brown shade in the front and then a dark brown on the outside to do kind of like a brow contour you can with this and then it has two highlight shades so a really light highlight shade and then also a definer shade which is not as bright as the highlight shade so let me actually swatch all these for you that is really loud and obnoxious but this is the highlight shade can you see that so I think you would like underline your brow with that to make it really sharp this is the definer shade the one on this side is the definer shade it's just a little bit more yellow and then here oh 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 jam I think it's broken you guys Oh, there we go. I fixed it. I don't know what that was. Okay, so this is the light brown shade. Ooh, it's kind of goopy. There is the light brown shade. And then this, oh, this got all gunky. This is the dark brown shade. Those are pretty similar. They're really similar. I don't know. We will see. Very interesting, very innovative product. And sticking with brows, this was quite the little brow haul. I got an Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Obviously, I've heard such good things about this. I'm sure you have as well. And I wanted a clear brow gel. So normally, I use the Glossier um, Black Boy Brow, but I wanted a clear one. Glossier does have a clear boy brow, but I don't really like it. I like their formula with like the color in it better um, but I really wanted a clear one just for like more natural days 
and I really wanted to try this brand because it's like the most well-known brand and it's a product that's been around for so long that I figure it's probably pretty good and I should have it in my makeup collection. So just a full-size Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Couple more products. I picked up a new fresh um, lip treatment, sugar lip treatment. They were out of the like just plain normal one so I had to get, which one is this? It's like a shimmer one, nude fresh. I don't know, it has a little bit of a tint to it, which is actually good. The reason I ran out of this so fast is because Nick has been using it before bed. It's that good, you guys. It literally, if you have the most crackly lips, you put this on at night, you'll wake up with the smoothest lips. So I get why he likes it, but I was kind of annoyed by that because this stuff is expensive. I think it's like $20 for a lip balm, um, but yeah, they were out of the plain, like clear, transparent shade, so I had to get one that had a tint to it. So I don't know if you can see it, it's just the palest, palest nude shade. It does smell exactly the same. It has the same lemony scent as the original one, so that's good, but yeah, I love this product. This is one of my favorite skincare lip type of products. It really, really worked so good. I really recommend it if you don't mind spending a little extra money for a lip balm. Okay, and then the last item I got, which I am so excited for, is a new concealer. This is from Too Faced. It's their new, born, well, I guess it's not that new anymore. It was new like a couple months ago. But this is their new Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I got the shade Vanilla. This is so big, you guys. It almost feels like a foundation. I'm super excited to try this and see if I like it more than Tarte Shape Tape. I don't know. We'll see. So again, this is the shade Vanilla. Uh, pretty bright for me right now with a tan. It's probably a little too bright, but it'll be perfect for me once my fake tan fades away. So yeah guys, that is all of the products that I got during my little Sephora VIB sale. For the bonus entry on this video for the giveaway, if you're new to my channel, check out my September giveaway and you'll understand what I mean by this. But for the bonus entry, comment down below if you got anything during the Sephora VIB sale and tell me what that is. And if you didn't, what would you have bought? Like if someone was like, pick one thing to get during the Sephora VIB sale, what would it have been? I'm really interested to see what products you either purchased or which products you really want. So I think that that will be really, really fun. I love you all so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!